How to choose a web host without going crazy. Five easy steps to keep your sanity by hostingmarker.com. The first thing you need to ask yourself when searching for the best hosting plan for yourself is what kind of site will you have? Uh, you might want to have a crazy blog, which is fine. You might want to have a video site, maybe an e-commerce plan on selling things. Maybe it's just a family thing with a few pictures. The content really, really is the right thing you need to determine and according to that you'll find out the right match so let's say you plan on having an e-commerce site look for e-commerce features maybe a, a, a cart shopping cart included inside maybe you want to have a site that will have uh, that would cater unlimited uh, disk space and hosting maybe that's what you need if you plan on having a lot of pictures inside for your family album and so on if you plan on having, by the way, an adult site, adult pictures or adult content one way or another, just remember that most uh, hosting uh, providers, at least 70% with that, of them, are not really cool with that. Uh, just make sure that you're choosing the right one. Uh, you can find all the lists and everything in hostingmarker.com of which one is the best. Um, will you have special requirements? Let's say Ruby on Rails, PHP, MySQL. Do you need anything special? If all of this sounds gibberish to you and you have no clue and you just need to throw your um, dental service providing site over there, you might not need all of that. That's okay. Uh, if you plan on having a blog or a forum, maybe search for something called Fantastico. Fantastico uh, is a really, really cool thing if you're not really techie. And even if you are techie, it's just a click of a button. Basically, it looks like... Uh, um, Blue Smiley, and what it is, it's some. It's a service that most providers, uh, I would say not most, but like 55, 60% offer in the basic bundles, and that's a cool generating script uh, provider. It's just one click of them with one click of a mouse, you can just have your own blog, a forum, and you don't have to write all the code for it, which is really nice. Um, if you plan on having commercial use, try to find uh, the right hosting company that will cater for your e-commerce um, needs. All right, so disk space, was more equal better? Basically, yes. But um, ask yourself, do you really need it? If that's a crucial thing for you, if you plan on having multiple websites on one domain, maybe you want to host your sister's website, your own, maybe one thing in the future you might want to uh, throw in something for uh, uh, your grandchildren, or maybe whatever it is, multiple websites, I would go for definitely unlimited disk space and unlimited traffic. Now, if you're going to have an e-commerce site, a company site, or something like that, unlimited is better, of course, but it's not the must. If you're locked in to some, cert, uh, to, to some sort of, of uh, if you're fond of, of uh, the services or if you got recommended by some sort of, of, uh, of, by a friend to a provider and you really want to go for that, go for it. Just remember that if they're good, doesn't really matter if they offer unlimited or gazillion megabytes. It's okay. Most chances you're not even going to be close to maximizing it. All right, to performance, very crucial thing. Most of us would not know if a site is performing well or not, or if a provider is performing well or not. Uh, one thing you need to look for is their 99.9 .9 uptime. A uh, very crucial thing you need to search when it comes to finding a provider. New servers, old servers. Um, check our site, hostingmarker.com. We uh, tell you over there one of the things that we check is what kind of servers do they have and according to that it's one of the factors that we take an account and according to that we rank them rank the, the providers and of course control panel since um, hosting or putting your site online is basically almost like Mandarin if you're not a coder or a programmer it's really really hard to know what the hell you're doing so I would suggest to go for a company to offer some sort of a control panel. And almost all of them do. The question is, what kind of a control panel? Is it friendly? Is it not? cPanel, according to our experience, is the most popular one and the most friendly. Doesn't mean that others are not. One-in-one, -one, for example, it's another provider, offers 
uh, their own hosting, uh, uh, their own cPanel, sorry, their, their own uh, control panel, and it's not that bad as well. Now, cPanel varies it with its content according to what the provider, uh, what kind of deals a provider closed with other suppliers. So, uh, you might find a crazy cPanel such as uh, JustHost.com uh, that offers awesome things in it, and you might find something that's a little bit half empty, but still, most chances you're not going to even be close of using 30% of what that panel offers. What you really need is something simple, easy, maybe fantastical if you plan on having crazy scripts or even just a blog or forum, um, and check if they also host some sort of other domains you purchased somewhere else, because that could be the case as well. Another thing, bonuses. We all love bonuses, but we shouldn't get distracted of them because bonuses are not the main thing that we're looking for. Um, a company might tempt you to get crazy to get to have crazy bonuses, but this service suck. So, and of course, suck is a professional term. But be sure to to have a good host. And if you can have a great host with awesome bonuses, it's a win-win for both sides. So, some of the bonuses out there that you should look for. Free domain for life. Great thing to have. Why should you pay for that? Um, website builder. If, you know, if you're not planning on having a Dreamweaver, using Dreamweaver or a programmer to, to build your site or a designer, website builders, there are gazillions out there, offer a very simple way to do that. Marketing coupons. If you have a, a site with commercial use, um, let's say an e-commerce site, you plan on selling, um, I don't know, uh, markers or plan on selling glasses online, make sure that you're going to throw your ads on Google or Yahoo or MSN or maybe Miva. But these companies offer you some coupons to start going for free. So coupons vary from 25 bucks to up to 75 or 100 bucks. So choose wisely. SEO tools, submissions, uh, traffic, you name it, look for those. If you need more information, check out our site. It's hostingmarker.com. You'll find everything there. Very simple. We did all the legwork for you, so choosing a host has never been easier. Go for that. Hostingmarker.com. Hope you enjoyed it. All the best.